Hello, 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 you amazing hackers. So when you clicked on this video, you probably wanted to know what bug bounty programs to pick. And we're going to introduce one new bug bounty platform each week and we're going to have a look at the public programs. So let's get right into it, shall we? We're going to start with some of the more beginner programs in my opinion. And I'll tell you guys why as we go along. So the first thing I want to introduce to you is Hoppler. Now Hoppler is a social networking service. It's really uh, cool because it has a giant scope as you can see star.hoppler.star. But just besides the star.hoppler.star, they also have the mobile applications in scope. So if you like mobile application pen testing, this might be the program for you, especially if you're just getting started. Since this is a responsible disclosure program and those tend to have a lot less hackers trying for them. Um, and also they are a lot less hardened because uh, when you want to go on a bug bounty platform as a target, you want to make sure that you're hardened when you have to pay out people that, that attack you because you, you don't want to pay out too much, of course, so you're sure that your security is at least on par. While these responsible disclosure programs tend to have a little bit less security. <clears throat> that being said, there's also a really cool uh, program on here by Randstad. They made a program for Randstad itself, which is also public, but they also have a program for Trago. Trago is a, a, a platform for finding work in Europe. So it's a really interesting one again, because as you can see a big scope, but no bounty. So a lot less hackers go are going to be on here trying to find vulnerabilities. So pretty good for us, I would say. Um, I would recommend that you guys uh, just do DNS enumeration like normal. Uh, I'm going to link in the description below a link to my repository and on that repository you guys can find a checklist that you can use while hunting these targets as well. Now let's say you're past that beginner stage, you're looking for a little bit more of an advanced program. We have hardware.info uh, for you guys here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, hardware.info is a website that reports on the current hardware and software and any consumer electronics that are being brought out. You can, again, expect a bigger scope, but in this case, you're going to find a little bit more of a hardened target, actually quite a lot, because once again, they pay bounties, so that's automatically going to attract a lot more hackers. But I find that their technology is a little bit older, so it might be somewhat more interesting for people who are just getting their feet wet or want to find a bounty after doing the responsible disclosure programs. Now, one of the other programs I would recommend if it wasn't suspended would be Kinepolis Group, if you are a little bit more advanced, but there are other programs, of course, but I would keep my eye open for this one because if it becomes unsuspended again, it's going to be a really interesting program since it also has a pretty big scope. As you can see, star.megatix.be and all of the Kinepolis stuff in here, but also the mobile application again. Some people really enjoy that. Um, I don't for myself because I don't like the whole setup, but some people do. So if you do, here's a proper target for you. Now, some of the more hardened targets, of course, are going to be a deal on private bank, which is, of course, a private bank. It's going to be a lot more tough to get into this one. But as you can see, they also pay for lows, they pay for mediums, they pay for highs, they pay for pretty much anything. And they pay a whole lot if you can find an exceptional. So um, one of the things that's more of a bit of a disadvantage is that you have a bit of a limited scope but uh, it's, it shouldn't be much of a deterrent if you really want to go into hacking deeply. But one of the, it would be a lot easier if you would be a customer to hack into this one because they don't provide you with any login details. So you'll have to find some way to get in, of course, but if you do find a way to get in, you can find, you can expect some big payouts. Now, another target that I really like that's hardened is integrity itself. You're going to go have to go up against some of the be best hackers that I know. So, uh, but again, a really big scope. Start at integrity.com, integrity.io, and integrity.me. All of them are in scope. So those are some of the programs that I recommend. You're going to be able to find them in the description below. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. You can always like this video. If you've come from this uh, video from the suggested videos from YouTube, I make a lot more of these, so feel free to subscribe anytime. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.